about half uh, of a year ago I have written a small tutorial how I can play with the knot vector and uh, whites on a B spline and what is the impact uh, if I change these values and today I want to work with uh, whites uh, on B splines created with a sketcher. So here we have a closed B spline and when I open it with the sketcher I have uh, the whites uh, visualized as circles and uh, in default uh, all these circles have the same diameter that means uh, we have uh, in every um, pole the same white. This is interesting uh, if I want to change this I have first to delete a constraint and then I can uh, change the size of such a circle and then I see that if uh, I make the circle larger then uh, this pole gets more power and pens the curve more in this point. Uh, I see here I have I higher curvature. So, um, but this is not the right way. So what I do is uh, I create another sketcher spline and my one uh, is different. I do not have the equal constraint for all circles, but I have uh, for any circle uh, a measure constraint and I have renamed all the constraints to whites. So it's simpler for me to change it and now I can go here and can say okay this is white 8. I can change the value and I see what happens. Okay, uh, if I rename uh, the weight constraints then it's also easier to see them here in the list of the constraint and I know now um, this weight is uh, corresponds to pole number 10 and this to pole number 1. Uh, so this is a simple case. Now the application uh, when I uh, have multiple slices uh, here in this example uh, and I create on base of these slices uh, for example a loft I want to modify the different slices so um, okay we will use more space and so I have uh, three uh, ribs for my loft and there are three copies uh, to see what are the old values when I start to work with this uh, rips. What I can do is now I can double click such uh, a rip and then I can modify it. Uh, now we have uh, already some uh, of this whites changed and it's not so easy to see how can I change your something? It's a really a complex construction. So th the other thing what I can do is I can uh, open a dialog. I call it the right editor. I select these three ribs and I start right editor and now I have three dialogs. <coughs> one for the red, one for the yellow and one for the blue rib. So I make them visible again and now we have here the view from top and I can now see the whites and I can change a white of one pole. This is pole 5 as it is here Uh, we see it changes and the same I can do for white 9 or pole number 9. So what happens now is that uh, the rib changes and uh, what 
changes to as the whole uh, loft. So I have here a dialog for the blue one and I see here is blue and blue. I still have to compute that my widget is blue, not only uh, there is written blue, so it's easier to distinguish between the uh, different rips and the corresponding dialogues. So the next is the red one and uh, also we have here uh, number five, the pole number five is has a big impact. Nine, it's another good address. So on, we can play and we see some poles have not such a large influence, but other have here. So, and the same we have here in, in the third line. So this helps me now. I, I can edit three different uh, B-splines at the same time. And I think this um, is needed if I want to modify such uh, a part. The problem is when I use the sketcher, I always have to click into one curve and it's hard to change uh, in this way the value on different places. I have to come back, then I have to go to the other one. And it, this was too complex for me, so I think this is a good uh, way to have for any rip a dialog and I can move the dialog somewhere on my screen. I can put it on the other side on, on my second uh, monitor uh, and here I have the complete figure and I always see what happens if I change one white in one rep. That's all. That's the result of today.